Hey guys, it's Amy, and I'm here today to do a what's in my bag. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I actually got a new bag recently, but I'm not ready to use it yet, so I'm not going to do what's in the bag with that one. Plus, I feel like that would be a little cheating, because then that would make me have to clean my bag so it'll look all like I'm really organized and stuff. So I'm just going to do what's in my bag with the bag that I have. And currently I'm using um, this bag. It's actually from... Um, Paris my brother got this for me and it was one of those you know those like if you ever go into any town like let's just say if you're gonna go visit Santa Barbara or San Diego or whatever there's like usually like touristy things where it says San Diego San Diego San Diego all over it and I have a London one actually that I got from London a few years back and I love it it's just I don't know it's really good quality and me being a designer I'm really picky with bags it's really funny for what it costs and what it is it's actually a really good quality. So this bag my brother got for me when he went to Paris. Well, actually, I think he went to um, Monaco and Nice and like the other area, basically more of like the south of France. And he got this bag for me and it was really unique because it's not like the typical one that I have from London because the London one, it's like the exact same one you can get. Well, not the same one, but something similar, very similar from like San Diego or like Long Beach or wherever you go, you know they're all over the place and it just literally says like Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. This one basically does say like uh, St. Topaz, Nice, Monaco. So it's just different. I really liked it. But the reason that I love these bags is because they're very good quality. Like I put it on my shoulder and I'm able to uh, stuff it with a lot of stuff and it hasn't ripped or broken anything you know even the lining is still good on there and I've had this for like I think two years now this one and the London one I've had for about three years now so and I go back and forth and I'm just not happy with most of the bags that I see so it's really funny like it's like yeah you can buy really pricey bags and I do have like I have a juicy couture bag I think I bought a long time ago it's about maybe like three dollar bag I got it on like a discount so I was like seventy dollars but the thing is like that's a good quality bag however I've noticed that like even that it's leather or whatever like it's really it's supposed to be high-end the stuff is like coming apart so I don't know it's just because it's also like the material of this what it's made out of um, it just is meant to last longer so I've just been happy with this bag first thing I'm gonna take out is my wallet so my wallet I got this off of eBay actually I don't know if I can find the vendor of this again if I can I'll link it below it was only ten dollars it's really cute actually this bag um, when you open it basically like it has zippers that go all the way around and this zipper actually works it's a functioning zipper and you can put stuff in there so it's like a hideaway area so you could put on this side you could put more cash or something if you want to save something I don't know but it's really cute I love it I just um, hope it lasts me a while it looks really expensive and it's not it literally like it cost me ten dollars so yeah so you open it and the top part is basically my ID and my credit cards and stuff and um, I'll just go through a few of them I have some of my well, my body shop, love your body card, get 10% off, love this thing, it's amazing. And then I have, of course, my Starbucks gold card. Uh, so this is really old, this has card card holder since 2010, so I've had this for a really long time. Now they've like updated it, it looks really nice, mine's really riggedy. I don't even know if I could get a new one, I should look into that. So, and then I have my Victoria's Secret Angel card. So this is the first one I had. And then, because I wasn't spending enough money apparently, <laughs> no I was, um, they upgraded me to like the VIP card, so now I have the silver card. So I don't know why I keep both of these in there. I think because this is pink I like it, but I should get rid of this because this one is basically this now. So yeah, so that's that. And then I have my credit card, my Discover card, <laughs> my bank card, and then I have my ID. I'm going to show you guys details. <laughs> But yeah, I have this one. My hair was, well, I can't even show you guys, but my hair was like brown in this one. So, yeah. I originally used to have my ID to be my, um, so I'm just putting my cards back in. My ID was um, originally basically my picture when I was 15 years old. When I got my permit, I, you know, you get your picture taken and stuff, and I had that for years. And then I decided to get a motorcycle license. And so I had to go retake my picture and I hated life because I didn't like it. I liked my 15 year old picture better. I was much younger, much thinner. <laughs> so anyway, so I had to change it. They like made you change it. So 
I changed it and I'm not happy with it now. I need to go get a new picture, but I just haven't had time. So anyway, so those are like basically my, um, yeah, that area. And then this area, which is my craziness. Um, God. I've got a business card, one of my business cards. This is what my business card looks like, guys, if you guys want to see it. And then some other business cards, a super drugs, oh yeah, super drugs card since I was in Europe for like three months and I'm gonna hopefully go back again soon. Um, my boots card, again, since I was in Europe. Uh, my insurance card, more business cards, some other people's business cards. I need to really go, oh, my car wash card, every time you go, you get like a, every 10th wash, you get a free one or something. And then I love tofu and barbecue uh, voucher. I have a free one actually this time. I love Korean barbecue. <laughs> so this is uh, one of my favorite places to go to. And yeah, that's my little voucher card. My dentist card, receipt, uh, doctor's card. This is my nail salon that I, used to, uh, that I go to. Um, yogurt and more. This is another one of those voucher cards, but again, I don't go here because it's a little bit farther from my house. So I don't always go there. Um, some like textile, like downtown LA, some of the shops I frequently visit to buy fabric. My uncle's old mechanic shop card. <laughs> it's a memory. They closed the place down, but I still have the card. I'm dropping everything. My ID from my college days. Um, yeah, I don't know why I still have this. I haven't gone. Oh, I think I used to take it to the movies and get discounts. That's why I used to keep it. But because it doesn't have a year of when it ends. I actually went to university after college, but um, it's funny because that college card um, doesn't have a year, but the university one has a year. So anyways, some vouchers for a pay less. Oh, did this expire? Because I was just there and I bought like bag and shoes. And when does this expire? Oh, okay, good. It hasn't expired. I should go back. <laughs> but yeah, some vouchers. Yeah, there's a bunch of cards, guys. I can't go through all these. It's gonna take the video is gonna be my whole wallet if I do this. Walgreens rewards card, which is like a boots, but in LA, basically. My some change. Got some change. I don't even know. I don't like change, honestly. I don't even have cash normally on me. I just use my cards, but I just have change once in a while. Let me see how much change I have. 15. 25 cents. I'm so rich, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. That's everything in my wallet, pretty much. And then um, I've got some pills because I'm a druggie. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so I hate the. I just bought a Tylenol, but. Um, tablets but like you know how it comes into that thing and I swear like I hate the way it is because the Tylenol ones are so hard to open and I'm, I'm like about to break my nail every time I try to open it I wish I had the thing with me but I just threw it out I threw I put them all in a zippy ziplock bag and I threw the little container out like I love the Advil containers because it's easy to open yeah it's childproof but it's easier Tylenol ones is horrible I feel like a child can open that one easier than um than I can because I'm gonna break my nails and I don't want to so I bought Tylenol because I always have Advil on me anyway, but I just figured like Tylenol is good too sometimes. Um, and so I just took them out and put them in a little baggie and then I have like my two little, these are Nexium, they're for like heartburn. So yeah, once in a while when you get heartburn. These are actually, I don't think they're prescription anymore, no. They used to be prescription, they're not anymore. But I don't always get heartburn but once in a while, so. Um, and here's a thing of the Nexium. The Nexium is easy to open, see? I don't know why I have two in there though. Anyway, and then I have my uh, body lotion. Well, it's body butter. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is strawberry body butter. And I have a big tub of this. I think I've said it before, but what I do is I normally empty the big tub into this little one and then keep this in my purse because it's easy to carry around. And then I've got some sunscreen because you need it, especially if you live in LA. Um, I've been noticing, like, you know, like the more you, the. I think it's like also an age thing, but it, it doesn't matter. I think it's like start at a young age doesn't matter. I would recommend always putting sunscreen on when you go out. Obviously, like when we wear makeup, we do wear like heavy layer of makeup. So you don't always have to put it on your face or you put it on before and then you put your makeup or your makeup has SPF in there. 
but like put it on the other parts like I noticed like I got like I don't know what happened it went away actually but I was getting like these spots on my hands and I was like what the hell is that you know and I don't want like sunspots for me it's hard to wear lotions because um, I have really oily skin and like hydrated skin so it's not ever dry so I'm not into wearing a lot of lotions because then it feels too heavy so but this is a good one I got is Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen it's broad spectrum SPF 100 and usually the way that SPF works from what I've been told I haven't researched it 100% but from what I've been told is the 100 means that time so this is 100 minutes after 100 minutes, you have to reapply it again. So when you buy an SPF 25, it doesn't do shit, basically, because it's like 25 minutes. So anyway, so yeah, so I have this one. It's really good. And then I have a water, my Fiji water. And then for some reason, I have chopsticks because I don't know why. I don't know. I think I got carry out somewhere, like takeaway, and I just asked for chopsticks, and they gave me an extra one. I stuck it in my purse. I don't know why. But yeah, I have chopsticks in my purse, you know, just in case you need a chopstick. And then I got my clip. And then this I just purchased, actually. I'll tell you guys how it goes. Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch. It's um, concealer, so I just bought this. So it's still in its packaging. Um, uh, NYX, basically matte lipstick in color Sweet Pink, which is this one. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. I was trying it out to see if I liked it. I like the consistency of it. I just don't like the smell. I'm weird about smells. I mean, I don't mind if it smells good, but that kind of smells like a crayon or like a weird kind of smell. So I didn't like it too much. This is um, one of my favorite perfumes it's from Body Shop. It's called White Musk. I love this. Oh shit, I was wearing a different perfume. Okay, and then I have this uh, Cherry Mac lip liner and that's actually what I'm wearing as a lip liner today. And then wearing the matte. The NYX. Some gum because you always need some chewing gum. You want to have good breath. And this is the five accent gum. I don't know what flavor it is, but I don't know. It's a light blue color. I really like cinnamon gums or cinnamon mints. Those are my favorite. Speaking of mints, I have. What? I don't think I have mints in here. Oh no, I have gum in here. Haha. <laughs> it's the Altoid Small Peppermints. So these are actually done. But what I did is because the container is so small. At one point, I put, like, these are some of my favorite gums. Uh, these are the ice cubes. They come in, like, little cube shape. And they're, like, I buy them in a big container. Um, but sometimes I, I take a smaller purse, so I put them in here so I can slip them in my small purse. So I think I switched purses. That's why it's still in there. Because I can fit the big one in here. Uh, some medicine. And, you know, things happen. I'm a girl. I get my period. We all do, well, well, the girls anyway. And so, yeah, feminine products, woo. <laughs> Tampons and pads. <laughs> yeah, I wear both, so <laughs> sometimes. Not at the same time, but well, anyway. Um, so, sanitizer, Twilight Woods Pocket uh, Back. This is a small little Bath and Body Works. Um, so the Twilight Woods came back. This was a limited edition. I don't like the new smell. I think they changed something in the formulation. So this is the old one. I really like this one. So I'm using it sparingly and then I've got my I have another clip because I don't know well I have long hair I guess so then my earbuds which by the way I bought a little case for my earbuds but for some reason I, I don't know where my case is and then I've got my keys these are a bunch of keys house keys I have more keychains than keys on here and one of my keychains that I love is from um, England they're little booties with the British flag the Union Jack which I love and it's in pink, which is like one of my favorite colors. And then I have, uh, this is from Germany. My brother bought it for me, but his legs fell off. It's so sad. It's a little teddy bear. And then he got me this from New York when he went to New York. So yeah, my brother's job basically used to make him travel all over. So that's why I have a lot of souvenirs from him in places. And then I have my makeup bag. So this you might think is very organized, but it's not. Because I recently put it in here. I was like looking for... Um, a lipstick or something and I have way too many products that I carry at the time of my purse I don't know why I carry so many products I shouldn't I don't need that many I have one pair of lips <laughs> I mean one like set of lips or <laughs> and I don't know but anyway so I mean I guess most girls do because you never know but I usually have the one that I'm wearing in my purse so I'm good about that but I never end up taking it out and it just collects so recently, ooh, <laughs> I put it into this little bag that I have. This is the Betsy Johnson bag. 
um, a friend of mine gave me this. She used to work at the, she used to be in charge of like the perfume counters and stuff at, I think, Bloomingdale? I don't know, anyway. Or Neiman Marcus, anyway. But yeah, I love this bag. It's really cute. And um, I have a little perfume in here. This is a roll-on like perfume. And I was about to put this on too. I'm like, I'm going to smell like 50 things. Uh, this is Narcisa Rodriguez. I love it. This is an oil. I love oils because it like lasts longer. So you could put this behind your ear a little bit. You know, if you get close to your special someone and, you know, they're kissing your neck or something and they could smell this. Anyway. <laughs> so I love that. And then I have my Cover Girl... Uh, powder with the mirror and the little puff. So the funny thing is this is actually my favorite powder. My favorite powder is the Rimmel London one, um, the Stay Matte powder. However, that one does not come with a little mirror or a brush, I mean, or a puff. So that's the only reason why I don't carry that always in my purse. But sometimes I do carry it anyway and then I just end up taking a brush and anyway. But yeah, usually this is easier to take and slip into other purses. But this isn't my favorite one. So this is not bad, it just doesn't keep it as matte as the same matte from Rimmel. So that's the cover girl one. And I'm, in case you're wondering, Classic Ivory. That's my shade. I do switch with shades because I do obviously change like with the sun. This is, I change with the sun, really? Um, <laughs> my skin tone does change obviously depending on like a natural tan sometimes you end up getting. Even though I put sunscreen and stuff like that, sometimes you do. So you do get a little bit darker and lighter sometimes. Anyways. But, um, yeah, and I have natural olive tone, so I could go lighter or darker, so. Oh my god, this smells really good, too. This is a Sweet Pea uh, Pocket Buck. That's another one. I usually have, like, literally, like, ten sanitizers. This one is in my makeup bag, because I like to have one in my makeup bag, too. Um, yeah, but I took them out recently, because I was like, there's too many. So, um, I have these eye drops. It's Renew, because I do wear contact lenses sometimes, so when I do wear contact lenses... I like to have this on me because you never know when your eyes get dry. So I have a concealer right now. This isn't my favorite one. This is the e.l.f. one. Um, it's okay for what it does. You know, if you're like, I only really carry this around is because if I get like a little bit of lipstick here, or, like like my um, eyeliner runs or mascara or something like that, and I need a quick fix, this is easy because it has a little brush. And it's really small. And it's only a dollar. So that's why I have this in there. But it's not the best. I have other like concealers that I like better. Um, so this is a Wet n Wild lipstick. This is their higher end ones, and they're the ones that have like the black containers. So this is doesn't really smell like anything. Um, this is a nice one that I like. It's called uh, Raven Raisin. So this is a nice color. You could see it. Okay. So I have this one on me because I was wearing this the other day. And then I have my MAC Show Orchid because I was wearing this too not too long ago. See, I'm telling you, I have a problem. I don't take them out. I just stuff them in my purse. And then I have my lip liner. This is um, Indian Pink. I just bought this actually. That's why it's in here. Let me put this in my other one. And then I have also, and that's Rima London, sorry. Another one of my favorites. It's called East End Snob. So this is very like skin tone kind of like a little bit pinky purpley. So this is good to if you want to add a little pop of color or if you want to fix something. So the other thing I carry with me is this is a Rimmel London in the nude. This is actually like a uh, waterproof eye defier, but I actually use this for my lip because basically sometimes when you wear heavier like darker shades and if you get a little bit somewhere if you're eating something you're drinking something and you get it over so it's like quick fix you can do it and it's better than even the concealer that i was telling you about guys because at least this one is like you can get it right on point and then it has a little blur like a blending brush where you can blend it in so it's not as a dr drastic line that you just made on your face so the other thing um yeah so much stuff uh, some more eye drops. These are just regular clear eyes. These are for never know when you might need them. Especially when you wear a lot of eye makeup. Sometimes your eyes get dry. I don't know. That's how I feel sometimes with mine. Okay, so then I have another a lip liner. This is a Lip Fusion Infatuation. This is a Blim Plumper. Plumper? I can't talk. Uh, Fusion Brands America Pucker Up is what it's called. I don't know if you can still get this. I got this from like a deal from like Hot Look a long time ago. So I don't know, but I'll see if I can find it and I'll try to link that one. But that's a lip plumper. It's actually really good. Um, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's good. So then I have some Vaseline Lip Therapy. 
I'm not going to link everything, guys, by the way, because a lot of the stuff you can't even normally get because I've had it for a while. But, um, yeah, it would be forever if I, like, linked everything in this. So, uh, yeah, and then I have a um, little sample perfume, and this is Hermes Voyage. So that's in there, too. And then I also have a lip EOS lip thing, and as you can see, it's almost done. I love this one. This is my favorite one. I think it's, like, strawberry or something. Um, I have a few other ones, but I like this one the best, so that's why I've been using this a lot. Okay, now my obsession, my new obsession, which I need to actually do a review on this for you guys, is, this isn't even all of them, by the way, this is how sad it is. Uh, this is the Rimmel London, um, show-off lip lacquers. <laughs> so, literally, I have, in my purse alone, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And I think I have almost the whole range, and I don't even know how many there are. I think there's 12, maybe, in the whole range, I don't even know. But I have more in my room. So, in my makeup sash. So, the colors that I have with me currently are, um, Galaxy, which is, like, one of my favorite ones. And, uh, I'm not gonna do, like, swatches on this right now. I think I might talk about these later, so I'll do another one. But I have Celestial. That's a really good one, too. One of my favorite ones that I recommend is Out of This World. So, it's, like, a pink glittery one. And then, another one I love is Apocalyptic. This is, like, almost like a corally pink so and then the two of the nude ones i just got i haven't even tried these yet i just bought them um but they this one one of them is a velvet one because they do have the lip velvets the other ones that i was reading to you were not velvets i have one of the vel two of the velvets actually uh, i think one is called blood orange or something like that and then the other one's like a red one i don't remember big bang maybe i don't know but they're velvets there's a few velvet ones so i wanted to try this one too it's a lip velvet show off um and this is in the color of Apollo. So I want to try it. See, I'm not really a fan of nude. I always wear bright colors. But I just want to try it to see how it looks. And then also I got this one. It's light year. It's another nude one, but it has glitter in it. That's the only reason why I got it. So, yeah. So I think that's about it in my purse, guys. Wow. That wasn't that as much as I thought it would be. I already told you about these. So, yeah, that's it. Nothing else in my purse. Except for lint falling out. So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that's what's in my bag, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> uh, and I will have a newer what's in my bag eventually. Once I get that bag, you know, going. But for now, this is what's in my bag. So I want to show you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good rest of the day. And, yeah, love you guys. Bye.